is underway. Hey, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I could be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. with his punches and multi-numbers here. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Missed targeting. Watch that punch. Scores up top with a left. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. He snaps a jab. Now he ties up there. Able to block and counter back. Target, he lands a straight right. Fires off that hook. Able to get rid of that one. Well placed left hand there. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Good, solid right hand land. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that if that's going hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Last 10 seconds. Nice work with the uppercut. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happens. So, you know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. a big hook right there. Well, he's got to be careful here, Teddy, because I know he was stunned earlier, and he wants to tie up, he wants to clinch, but at that moment where you go to clinch, you're creating an opening. Yeah, you are. Your opponent can take advantage of that. He can take a little step back, make you fall in, and then bang, 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 put you in even worse shape. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. enough time to recover. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. You 
see him holding on. the mark there. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Commits to the straight right. And he ties up on the inside. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by. And he's looking to tie up. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place. And that is... We have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while, because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. He engages in the clinch. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Teddy, you talk about going out and making a few opening statements here. The jab has spoken loudly for him. Yeah, it has spoken loudly. What it's told his opponent is you're not just going to walk in. You're not coming into my house. It's going to be hard. I got a couple locks, a couple padlocks on here. Jab, and he doesn't just throw one out there, but brings the second one immediately behind it. Good return fire that time. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good left hand able to land. Comes with the right. holding this is excessive holding we're seeing here now
put his opponent down on the canvas, he's already easily taken the first three rounds of this fight as we begin round number four, Teddy. Well, it has been easy for him because his opponent has no defense. He just walks in and he's eating punches. We got a fighter who was knocked down earlier, who as you can see is still going about his business the exact same way. Let's turn the tables a bit. If you're opposite that fighter, what do you want to do? What you want to do is just keep going to hate. You know that old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, he's giving it to you, keep taking it. Keep going to that well until there's no more water. If he's giving you an opportunity to catch you with the same thing, keep doing it. I really like what he's doing here. I mean, if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter, it is the jab, and he's firing it off you. And he's firing it off you. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He got rocked. He just got rocked. And he's big, big shot comes crashing home. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has got enough, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And bang, and away he goes. And he's got the count. I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. <laughs> he tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Well, I don't know if he's hit to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Nice exchange. Both right hands landed. How about that left right there? Solid. That was a big shot that put him. And it's a big shot that may exit him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. the count of 10 that's it knockout never saw the punch coming let's get the official particulars and send it up to our ring announcer what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up 